Supreme Court has directed the center to frame guidelines for paying compensation to families of COVID victims. Uh, they say the amount can be decided by the National Disaster Management Authority. Well, let's go across to Vedya for more details. Uh, Vedya, tell us about what the Supreme Court has said and about this entire case and these compensation uh, guidelines or norms are to be framed within six weeks. The first point is all the COVID victims are likely to get ex gratia payment, which you can call it as compensation. So the Supreme Court uh, delivered a judgment based, based on two petitions on paying compensation of four lakhs. That's what the petitioner wanted on the death certificate. Mm -hmm. So center said that uh, it, uh, compensation cannot be paid because they quoted the section 12 of the Disaster Management Act and everything. Finally, the Supreme Court has rejected center's stand. They say you frame guidelines within six weeks National Disaster Management Authority will have to decide within six weeks what is the amount. The court says the court cannot decide on how much amount has to be paid. It's for the authority to decide it. And court has also said that uh, it's a mandatory under National Disaster Management to pay uh, compensation or ex gratia to these victims. And rejecting the stand, the court said that it's uh, if you don't, uh, by not framing the guidelines as per Section 7, the authority has failed to discharge its duty. duty. And court went on to say NDMC is bound to give minimum standards of relief to which in course ex gratia also. And court said there's nothing on record submitted by the central government. The NDMA has taken any decision whether to pay or not. So basically, center argued saying that section 12, which says the, which, uh, sh the word used is shall uh, for compensation, that should be treated as may. But court said that nothing doing, it has to be treated as shall only and authority will have to decide. Right. So on the death certificate issue, uh, on the death certificate issue, court has said that, uh, of course, center has already said that guidelines have been issued, but court wanted it to simplify it. And if any family member has some sort of uh, doubts or some clarification, something has to be corrected, then it must be corrected. There must be a system for that. Right, so very, very significant uh, where there when there's so many people who have lost family members to COVID. The Supreme, uh, the center had earlier said in the Supreme Court that, you know, they can't pay compensation as it would exhaust their disaster relief funds and disaster, um, you know, management uh, mandates, law mandates that relief applies only to natural disasters. But now the Supreme Court saying uh, nothing doing that you have to pay some amount of compensation which can be decided. Exactly. But at the same time, this uh, I mean, the court has also said uh, government is spending too much on the health, of the, I mean, health infrastructure and other state other related issues. So while deciding the compensation, these sort of uh, issues also should be taken into account how much amount will have to be paid. The petitioner wanted 4 lakh to be paid. They quoted Section 12 of the National Disaster Management Act. So finally, court said it can't decide the amount. It's for the authority. But you decide this. And as for the uh, insurance scheme is concerned, there is also one issue of the insurance scheme. The court has said the Financial Commission has recommended certain things. So uh, National Disaster Management Authority or the government can go with it. All right, uh, Vedya, thanks so much for joining us uh, with those details. So that's the breaking news coming in. The Supreme Court has said that the center must pay some compensation uh, to uh, families of those who've died of uh, COVID. However, the amount to be paid is to be decided by the National Disaster Management Authority.